right, so this is how you pop. This is how you properly tie a do rag. I was supposed to add this in with my video the other day, but I forgot. So, so we're gonna start from scratch. You're gonna have it like this. Boom. Just, you're gonna have it like that. Make sure you, this is your index finger, make sure your, in, your two index fingers are below it and you have your thumb on top of it like this, okay? Take it, you flip it up. Boom, then pull it back down. Now I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna do it one more time so you see it perfectly, okay? You take it, you flip it up like this, then you pull down. Boom. You get it over here. I like I like to put it over my eyebrows, you know, because I do something extra. Pause. After. So now once you go it around, do this right here. Boom. Cross that. You come back to the front. What I like to do is I grab one, I make the joint thick. Pause. So I stretch it out like this. I go around. The other one I usually have skinny. So I put it on top of the somewhat thick one. Pause. Now once I get to the back, I have it here. I cross it. Then I cross it again. I tighten it. Then I tie it like a like you're tying a shoelace. Then you pull. So now, once you get that straightened out, you go back to the front and you push this down a little bit. And what I like to do is I grab right here and I pull it up. straight yeah so now once you got it like that you grab the two flaps in the back and you put it down you grab the middle you just trying to make sure it's all even over here and then for me I take this twist it and I put it through and that's how I tie my do rag. Right? Okay, you just gotta make sure this is even up. The reason I, f I like flipping this right here, to me, it just look better. One, and two, it just keep the strings attached. Everything just look flush. So that is how I tie my do rag. Right? That's how you properly and thoroughly tie a do rag. Right? All right, squat, we about it.